Jam Fun. everyone, COE33 here with my sister Leaf. Morning guys! We're on the hunt looking for bargains on video games and today is a pretty special day because we're celebrating our 1,000th subscriber. So thank you everybody, we really appreciate the support. We never thought we would get to 1,000 subscribers and uh, we're just blown away by uh, everyone's uh, reaction to our videos, huh? Yeah! So thank you, thank you, can't thank you enough, huh? Yeah! <laughs> so at the end of this video we're going to uh, do a giveaway to celebrate uh, the occasion and to say thank you. So stay tuned for that, but until then we're going to go try to scrounge up some games for the collection and see what we can come up with, huh? Yeah! Any luck? Nope, I'm looking. I'm not seeing anything new. What do we got here? Sean White snowboarding, Rainbow Six Vegas for uh, three bucks. Uh, here's some uh, PlayStation 2 games. NBA Baller. <laughs> no. Gremlins. That's a fun movie. You want to switch spots? Sure. Wait, whoa! What? Eh. I think it's some pickle juice. Yeah, I saw that, but um, I don't know. I don't know if we need that or not. Oh, that's your favorite, Justin Bieber. No, I don't like Justin. You're not a believer? <laughs> not his music. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, there's nothing at that goodwill. No. So we're gonna keep searching, huh? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna hit up this pawn shop. See if they got any video games. Alright guys, we're not finding anything today so far, huh? No. I don't know what's going on, but uh... Not, not, not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, we've been driving around for the last hour or so, and following a wild goose chase. <laughs> yeah, it has been a wild goose chase. We followed a whole bunch of signs that said there was garage sales, but uh, we never found any. And it nope. seems like people left up their signs from last week. I think so. That's all part of the experience of game hunting, and that's all right. So we ended up stopping at a pawn shop, and uh, we got an okay little score. We got three games for ten dollars. So we got actually a pretty decent little addition to our Final Fantasy collection here, and uh, that's complete and in good shape. So happy about that, and uh, let's see what else we can find, huh? Yeah. All right, let's see what this Goodwill has. Yeah. Hopefully uh, we'll find something nice. This is where we found our uh, complete box copy of Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo. You remember that? Yeah. That was one of our earliest game hunting finds years ago. All right, we're at the Goodwill that we found Overwatch at last time. And funny enough, they had another copy of it in the display, but this time it was $25, and it was for the Xbox One, which is about what it's worth if you trade it in at GameStop, so it's not worth picking up. But it's kind of funny that they keep getting sealed copies of Overwatch in, at this uh, Goodwill, huh? Yeah. A little bit unusual. Yes. Um, this is also where that DVD Splinter was. One of our viewers needed it for her collection, so if you see Splinter, the DVD, 
Let's pick it up for her. All right, that Goodwill was pretty sweet. We got lots of stuff for the collection. We got a nice little stack of games here, including one really nice addition to the PC collection, which is this collectible tin for Flight Simulator 2004. Wow. And this actually is pretty collectible and has some value to it. And we got it for $2.99. It's complete in good shape, which I'm really happy about. And then a nice little addition to the vinyl collection here, Eric Burden sweet. and the Animals, which uh, I'm a big fan of Eric Burden. And uh, we have a lot of his music on CD, but this is the first piece of vinyl that we have of his. So very cool. And and uh, onward, huh? Yeah. All right, headed to Value Village. Yep. We haven't had a real good score at this uh, place in a while, so no. ho hopefully we get uh, some goodies, huh? Yeah. Hope so. Someone just dropped off their NES collection, <laughs> and they're all a dollar a piece. And... <laughs> well, that <laughs> would be nice. Little Samson. And surprise, a dinosaur peak. Yeah. Zombie Nation. Someone dropped off their DS collection. I'd oh, there you go. A little DS collection. You'd like that, huh? I'd take that in the RV. It's kind of cool. It's yeah. half off, huh? A dollar for that? $1.99. No, it's half off. It's silver. Yay. You picked that one out last time we were here. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, that was our best score so far today. Yeah. Really excited. We don't pick up board games too often unless it's games that we used to have growing up. And this is one of them. It's complete and in really good shape, and that's Crossfire. So kids that grew up in the 80s and 90s probably remember this. I used to have this, and uh, it's in really good shape, including the box and everything. So really happy about that. That's pretty yeah, nice, huh? Awesome. And then that Value Village had some really nice vinyl, and including Kiss, uh, which is great. And those are 99 cents each. And then they had a bunch of PC games that were all half off. So these were a dollar each, including some really interesting ones like uh, this one right here, which is Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail on mm. PC, which I love this, um, this uh, movie. It's one of my favorite movies, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And uh, I know nothing about the game, but uh, really happy to have that in the PC collection. So that was a pretty good little score there. Right on. And uh, I think everything there was like, a, well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six games, uh, four pieces of vinyl, and a complete in box board game. That was 13 bucks. So that was a good deal. Yeah, right on. All right, nice little score for the Wii collection. Both of these were half off, so it was $10 total for the DJ. Oh yeah, we hit another honey hole. <laughs> That's right. So it was $10 total for the DJ Hero bundle and this Wii uh, wireless keyboard for Rock Band 3. So today's kick butt so far, I'm gonna keep looking. All right, heading over to video game headquarters. Yeah. See what they got. Oh yeah. All right, guys, so we just left Video Game Headquarters, and they had the buy six for 20 deal going on, and they actually had some decent titles. So we picked up some Sega Genesis games and some NES games that we don't have in the collection. So really happy about that, and I think we're going to go hit up some lunch. Yeah, sounds good. How's your lunch? Good. We got a grilled cheese sandwich, a, uh, what is that, caprese salad with mozzarella and tomato, and a pickle. I think you got a slice of pie coming too, don't you? Yeah. Cool. We're at Sherry's mm -hmm. having lunch. A little break from game hunting. Yeah. And a strawberry lemonade well, to top it out. There you go. That's the star right there. Can't go wrong with strawberry lemonade, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. You gonna get a DS game? What did you get? Jewel Master Egypt? Look at all these NESs they have. 25 bucks. That's actually not too shabby. But we've got three of them, so. <laughs> so we just left that Goodwill and got a couple games here. Leaf picked out something for her DS collection, and then I uh, picked up Star Wars Rebel Assault 2 for the PS1. Yeah. So, very cool. We thought we'd take a break from game hunting and go to the arcade and play some uh, old school arcade games. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Level Up Arcade. This Pac Man. Some Galaga. Have you been here before? 
with you, yeah. Okay, I thought so. Yeah. Here's Popeye. Oh yeah. How much do you need? There, probably 50 cents or something. There you go. Throw that in there. player one star right there. Select a level. Kick some dinosaur butt. There we go. Good graphics. You gotta fire your gun at the dinosaurs when you see them. There you go. Shoot those dinosaurs. Nice. Good shooting. Oh. Uh oh. Hold your fire. Shoot its uh, weak spots there, its head. Uh oh. <laughs> oh well. A little old school Donkey Kong. Don't like Donkey Kong. That's right. Be really nice to have one of these in the game room, huh? Yeah. I'm always looking for a good deal on an original Donkey Kong cabinet, but they never come up. Up the ladder. Up the ladder. There you go. Now I got the hammer. There we go, and I got the fireballs. Or the barrels, I mean. Uh oh. That was fun, huh? Shall we take off and continue game hunting? Yeah. Cool. I think this is going to be our last stop of the day. We're going to head to St. Vincent de Paul's and uh, see what they got. What do you got? Oh, I'm just looking. I was looking over there a bit and there's nothing over there. So. Yeah. Well, I found some Game Gear games that were half off. Nothing cool. too special, but they were two bucks a pop, so why not? I'll draw those sports. Well, these have been picked through, huh? Yeah. I found Splinter Cell, Double yeah. Agent. Pretty sure we have all those. Alright, why don't we get these uh, Game Gear games and get out of here? 
We just went to St. Vinny's and picked up a PS1 game and three Game Gear games, and the Game Gear games were half off, so they're only two bucks a pop, which is not too shabby. And I think that's going to do it for the day, and uh, we'll go back and share our pickups with you, huh? See you all in the game room. We're back in the game room, and another great day of game hunting, and we got lots of pickups to share with you. Before we do that, Leaf is over here playing Super Mario Bros. 2 for the NES and having a good time with that as usual. So our first stop was at a Goodwill. Oh no, I'm sorry, first stop was at a pawn shop. And we got uh, three pickups. We got Final Fantasy X-2, or X-2, either, however you want to say it. And uh, this was three dollars. And then Leaf picked out Candy Factory for the Wii. It was something that she was interested in. So we got that. And then Deus Ex Human Revolution, which I have not played this yet, and I actually really want to play this. Because uh, I know the new one just came out, and I'm interested in uh, playing that as well. So uh, really looking forward to that. And uh, it was $10 total for all three of these, so it was an okay deal. Uh, it wasn't that amazing, but uh, why not? So from there we went to a Value Village. And, uh, no, I'm sorry, from there we went to a Goodwill, and we got a couple PS1 pickups, and they were in really good shape. We got Ballistic, and it's like brand new condition, the disc is perfect on this, and that was $2.99. And then Bass Landing, another one that's in really good condition, and that was $2.99. And for uh, the original Xbox, we got Tony Hawk. Pro Skater 4, and I enjoy these uh, Tony Hawk games quite a bit. I have not played 4. Um, my favorite that I've played is 2, so I'm not sure if this is any good or not, but uh, definitely give it a go. And then a nice little score here, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004 and this little collectible tin, A Century of Flight. And uh, that's definitely a nice addition to the PC collection. And this is also in really good condition, and uh, that was... 299 so that's a really nice score there and uh, very happy to have that in the collection and then a nice piece of vinyl here uh, we got a record the animals so Eric Burden is a really awesome musician in my opinion and uh, I definitely enjoy the animals and uh, happy to have that in the collection and from there then we went to the value village and at the value village we got quite a bit of nice stuff so what do we get here? We got some PC games, and these were all half off, so they were marked at $1.99, but we ended up paying $0.99 cents each. And some pretty interesting uh, pickups here. First of which was a really interesting one to find, which is Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail. And I didn't even know there was a game for Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And uh, that was a really cool find. And then Far Cry 2. Age of Mythology, Seven Kingdoms 2, Sid Meier's Railroads, and Arcanum. So pretty decent. That's a Sierra game, which is kind of cool. And some more vinyl today, some good vinyl scores. So we got uh, Kiss, a Fleetwood Mac album. We Are the World, which is kind of cool. That's the one with Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones did this and all the people came together and really big artists came together and put this album out back in the day. That was probably the 80s, I think, when that happened, if I remember correctly. 1985, yep. And Earth, Wind, and Fire. So some pretty decent vinyl pickups there, and those were 99 cents each. Not too shabby. And then we went to a game store, Video Game Headquarters, and uh, if you watch our channel, you know they do the buy 6 for 20 deal on common NES and Sega Genesis games, and they actually had some games that we needed in the collection, so we went ahead and took advantage of that deal. So for 20 bucks, we got Desert Demolition, Might and Magic, Desert Strike, the Aquatic Games, and this is interesting because this says starring James Pond and the Aquabats, so... I wasn't familiar with this. I quite enjoy the James Pond games. I've never seen or played this, so I'm definitely going to pop that in the Genesis later and see what that's all about. And then for the NES, Operation Wolf and Our Tribals, which is a really fun basketball game. And uh, happy to have that. It's a little bit uh, marked up there, but it's not too bad. The label looks good, so that's all that really matters. So a nice little deal there. Oh, and at that Value Village where we got the vinyl, a really nice find. We got Crossfire, which uh, we don't buy a lot of board games, but uh, there's a few on the wish list as far as board games go. 
Um, we want uh, Omega Strain or Omega Virus, I think it's called. I forget. It's been a while since I played it. It's games I had as a kid. And then there's the Volcano Island, um, a Fireball Island, something like that. And then this one, Crossfire, all of which uh, I used to have as a kid. And this is uh, in great shape. Everything's in there. Uh, it's complete. The box is in really good condition. And I was really stoked to see that. And it was only $3.99, so that's a pretty good score. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of room for board games because we have so many of them, but uh, if it's one on the wish list, we'll definitely pick it up, especially for that price, so really happy about that. And let's see, from there we went to a St. Vinny's and got a pretty, pretty nice score for the Wii collection. For uh, These were both half off, so this was $2.50. We got the DJ Hero Complete in Box uh, turntable set for the Wii, and we have the turntable. But now we have a complete in box, so that is pretty cool. Nice addition to the Wii collection and a good price on that. I've been waiting to find it really cheap before picking it up complete in box. And then this was $7.50, which, I don't know, that's not the best deal in the world, but I've never seen it. Um, it's the Rock Band 3 wireless keyboard. It's got the dongle in there and everything. And uh, as you guys know, we love to collect for the Wii, so I didn't want to pass it up for half off. Uh, so definitely a nice little addition to the Wii collection. And then we went to a Goodwill and we picked up a couple games. A nice little score here for $3.99. We got Star Wars Rebel Assault 2 and uh, this is in really good condition as well. So all the PlayStation 1 games that we found today were like in immaculate condition which is surprising because a lot of times the PlayStation 1 games are pretty beat up when we come across them. Uh, especially at like thrift stores and Goodwills and stuff. So that's a pretty good deal for $3.99. I'm not sure if the game's any good or not, but I'm a big Star Wars fan, and I like collecting PS1 games. And then Leaf picked out one that was interesting to her, Jewel Master Egypt, and this looks kind of like a Bejeweled-style game, um, and she really enjoys puzzle games, so I'm sure she'll enjoy playing that. And then our last stop of the day was a St. Vinny's, and uh, they had some... Game Gear games half off, so they were marked at three ninety nine, which is way overpriced for what they are. But they were only two dollars, and even at two dollars, really these aren't very good titles. So it's an okay deal. But uh, Game Gear is a system that's a lot of fun to collect for, and we don't have these. So for two dollars with the little clear cases, I didn't want to pass them up. So for two dollars each, we got Scratch Golf, Joe Montana Football, and NBA Action. And it's really nice to have these Game Gear cases. That was one of the selling factors on that one. And this is actually a pretty good little score. I, I think I remember playing this, and it was pretty fun back in the day. And that's NASCAR Rumble. And that was only $1.99. And again, this is in really good condition. So good day for PS1 games in good shape. So those are the pickups for the day. Another great day of game hunting. And we got some pretty good stuff and good values. Um, so definitely very happy about that. So now we're going to do our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So I think what we're going to do is uh, Leaf's going to join me up here, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, share what we're going to give away and all the rules and all that good stuff. All right, it's time for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So I know we already said it, but thank you, everyone. We really appreciate it. It's amazing that we uh, have hit 1,000 subscribers, and it means the world to us. So super appreciative, and uh, we're really looking forward to doing this giveaway. So the rules are super simple, no gimmicks or anything like that. All you have to do is leave a comment below and be subscribed. That's it. And at the end of the next On the Hunt episode, we will draw one lucky winner, and uh, that lucky winner will win... Castlevania Judgment. Mm hmm. For the Wii. For the Wii. Resident Evil 4. Yep. For the Wii. That's right. A cat. Assassin Creed Brotherhood for the PlayStation 3. Yep. Another PlayStation 3 game. Grand Theft Auto 4. Mm hmm. Another PlayStation 3 game, Time Crisis 4, and last but not least, Morrowind Platinum Hits for the Xbox One. Those are some one. good titles, and on top of those games, one lucky winner will also win Streets of Rage for the Sega Genesis, which is a classic and one of the best games on the system in my opinion. The Collector's Edition of Gears of War 2 with the Steelbook and the Artbook. 
Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmares for the Xbox 360, NARC for the NES in the blue rental case, and last... But not that's least... Right, one piece of perler art that Leaf and I did together, and it's Earthworm Jim, and it's even signed by us. Yeah! So, pretty cool. So, yeah, that's all you have to do is leave a comment, be subscribed, and, uh, you yeah, know, if you want to like the video, that's great. If you want to share this video, we'd really appreciate that. That always helps us a lot. Uh, when people share our videos on various social networks, it always gives our channel a nice boost, which we really appreciate, huh? Oh, yeah. So, best of luck to everyone, and uh, again, at the end of the next On the Hunt episode, one lucky winner will be drawn. So that's it for this episode of On the Hunt. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, bye! This is normally the part of the video where we have bloopers to share with you, but we're, uh, we don't have any, do we? No. <laughs> so no thanks. bloopers up our sleeves? That's right. Well, I don't have any sleeves, though. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so thanks for watching.